Okay, folks, so I want to share this video again. This is from August 11th of 2018. And, you know, just to reiterate, because I'm not going to let this go, because I believe we were subjected to some high energy. I believe we were, su we were subjected to something that we should not have been subjected to, you know, against our consent, against our knowledge. And, you know, this line of energy that came in from the south, bringing with it these vertical and horizontal beams and sweeping beams. And in this video here, I show, you know, close up here of what it was that was coming in. And you can see it's pushing down on our atmosphere right through here, really pushing down hard on our atmosphere. And what it's also doing is everything that was in the atmosphere up in the sky was being pushed down on us. This essentially would have purged the southern skies. And if it was electromagnetic, it probably would have taken down any satellite systems that would have been off in that direction. And we wouldn't have known about it. We really wouldn't have known. And some of these flashes and beams that we're seeing and what look like flashlights, like sweeping down across, could be, you know, the lighting systems on some of these satellite systems and so-called aircrafts that they've had up there in the upper atmosphere. And you can see here, it, over a period of about five minutes, it took it not quite five minutes from the time that I detected it in the recording until it reached ground level here and completely breached our atmosphere and came right down in. And this, all this energy would have been just dissipated over the, the valley like a wave. And someone knows exactly what this was and uh, the direction of it it's very curious off to the south towards where they test a lot of things out there in the white sands and you know we just pretty much absorbed it right there we just took in all that energy from whatever this was and here's another you know faster version of it you know kind of sped up and in this video here i had shown the vertical beams and the horizontal beams that were coming through and the vertical beams that were sweeping with it. This was directed energy. This was being controlled. This was being manipulated. This was being influenced by man, not nature. This wasn't natural. This was directed energy. Okay. Directed to our location. You know, not natural. That is not natural. I just, I'm... I think we were subjected to something even more profound than what that even looks like there with all of the, what looked like, like sweeping beams coming through in some of these videos and, and clips, I slow it down and show like frame by frame. And you can see like sweeping beams, like flashlights flying, you know, flashlights flying, yeah. like flashlights sweeping the light down across on the low horizon off in the distance towards the white sands direction. Right. And then you have even as recent as just three years ago, you have the USS Portland successfully testing a solid state laser. Just, you know, burning up a drone, concentrating, directing that energy and burning up a drone. So don't tell me that they're not developing this stuff. And I, I find it bothersome that the Department of Defense can just, you know, put out this information through these congressional research reports, giving them the impression that we're not and that we're not as far along as we are. They've been talking about testing this stuff at the space-based platforms for a while too. And this is just not natural. And whatever this energy was that we were subjected to, this was directed energy. This was being directed. This was known. Somebody knew exactly what this was. I guarantee you. And they were tracking it. Just not natural. And I'm going to keep demanding answers until I get somebody owning up to what was actually going on here. I'm not going to wait years and years and years. The people of Henderson and of Southern Nevada and here out in the Southwest were subjected to some very intense energies back on August 11th of 2018. Intense energies that could cause some degradation and it did cause degradation. Our trees stopped blooming for the last few years. They're just now finally starting to bloom again and the grass is just now starting to grow back. When I first got here back, well, back in 2017, Right before this, the year before this, there were so many hummingbirds. The trees were blooming, they were flowering, there were so many bees. 
our one tree was just, it was uh, alive. It was like this big giant bee bean because there were so many bees. After this, after this happened, on August 11th of 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, they just started coming back this year. And there's a life cycle for the amount of damage that certain weapons and certain weapon systems can do of the damage. Some last five, seven years, some even longer. We were subjected to something here against our knowledge, against our will. Someone knows exactly what this is, and I'm not going to stop until I find out exactly what happened. I want some kind of an explanation. And you're not going to tell me that this was something coming from the sun because the sun was too high in the sky. There was no way this came from the sun. This came from the lower horizon, way, way off in the upper atmosphere to the south. There's proving grounds now in that way. Very easy to prove. I have before in different videos where I've shown the mapping of it. But this was not nothing that was natural. We were subjected to some serious energy that was directed energy. This stuff gets out of their control. And, you know, back in August of 2018, something happened here. And somebody knows exactly what it was. Because this wasn't natural. This just wasn't natural. This whole line of energy coming in like that and pushing down on our upper atmosphere. You have sweeping flashlight beams flashing around. You know, someone knows exactly what was going on here. And this this type of energy, depending on the type of energy that it was, um, could very well have been the reason why we dried up as fast as we did throughout 2019 and 2020 and into 2021. And why we have been so dry, why we had... 100 degree plus days after day after day after day this last year. This is a, something that could have everything to do with engineered drought. It's been mentioned in other files before and in military files and in ideas in, in how to combat global warming and how to cause cooling, global cooling by using certain types of weapons. I just, I don't consent. And I'm not going to stop until I get an answer for exactly what was going on here with this line of energy that came down here with these sweeping beams and vertical beams and Tesla coils being directed, being directed by someone. Someone was directing this whole scene that played out back on August 11th of 2018. And it's very curious that like a week or so later, Hawaii was burning as well back in 2018 when this was coming down in. And these storms were popping off to the south like this out in the Pacific. So. Yeah. To anyone that still wants to believe that directed energy weapons are just a conspiracy theory. I, I really don't have anything more to say to you. This channel's not for you. You need to carry on and be on your merry way.